Good morning, everybody. It's HHV, the judge, on Saturday, the April 1st of April. All <laughs> fools there that don't think that's why me and the judge have turned up this morning. Oh, Good morning, judge. How are you, mate? Yeah, not bad. Thank you very much, mate. How are you doing? Enjoy your, yeah, your, your refresh now. I think we've both, we both got a year older this week, didn't we? Yeah, my birthday yesterday, 52 big yeah. ones. But, you know, I swear I don't feel a day older than 51, judge. That's <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. Now, I'll tell you what I'm excited about today. It is officially the start of the flat season, but yes. we are not going to Donny. We are going to Kempton for the 215, the listed Magnolia Sticks. We're going to run our ruler over that. But just quickly, Judge, I am so excited that the flat season is here. I know we've got entry still and all this blah, 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 but this is it, and this really is the big day. Once you see him going to the post at the Brocklesby, then I think, yes. here we go. The fun started now. Are you looking forward yeah. to this flat season, mate? I, I am, mate, actually. Yeah, because I, I just feel like um, it's, it's a lot more shape to the flat these days. I used to be a massive um, jumps man. I preferred the jumps overall, but I'm, no, without a doubt, I prefer the flat now. You know, just this, it seems to be that there's obviously there's a pattern to it. And you can, you, you can sort of like see where people are working towards, where it's become too ch Cheltenham-based, doesn't it, a little bit, uh, the jumps? Um, yes. You know, too festival-based. Yeah, and there's loads of good races throughout the season. And they used to be a lot bigger in their own rights, didn't they? Yeah, I agree, yeah. Now, talk about the flat judge. Uh, big up to anybody in my Newcastle card market service because Holden's gold number one track. We did the first four winners last night, 440 to one four-timer. And in the last race, we had a 10 to one shot, got beat half a length in second. It would have been a 4,000 to one five-timer. But we're still rocking. If you're an HFC club, You'll see all about Newcastle card mark. So another fantastic day. And the last two days, two big gambles have gone in. My HFC, HFC free club business, 11 to 2. And yesterday, 9 to 2 there at Southall. So we are buzzing. And there's a big, big price gamble in that HFC club newsletter today. Email every day. And I know you you banged in a little double the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very, very nice. You had a trick the other day in the first two one. And the, the last one bumped into a bit of a good one. But came second. So got the... Got the place, but it's a, a, a winning month, which is important. So, um, yeah. onwards and upwards, the start of another one, as you would say. Yeah, so, we've got to keep going again. The yeah. club, you'll hear all about the judges' private service for the flat and the rest of the year. So, exciting times for your not just your number one YouTube home of big price winners, but of course, the HFC club. If you're not in, get in at the top link, it's free, and you will be on. Free club list, club. I don't know what's up with me. I think the old birthday is telling <laughs> to Yes. I've forgotten the English you got, language. You've got the wrong, wrong teeth in this morning, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. Well, my age is good to have any teeth at all. Uh, right, <laughs> yes. we are going to, without further ado, have a look at the Magnolia at Kempton there, 205. Of course, uh, it is the start of the flat, Donny, but the flat season really as well as an excellent card here with some first time out two-year-olds. But this is a cracker of a race it's a listed race class one uh, seven runners go to post but many of the bookmakers who have discussed this before it really is a sort of new thing are offering three places so you've got that choice again last time out judge you went for the three your horse was uh, third so i said uh, go quarter the odds same horse i did my dough um yeah, but i mean it looked all over the winner um, last week didn't it yeah, I'm changing my strategy today. I'm going to 50 odds three. I'm going to have a look Brilliant. at the race first, and then I will come to the judge and see what he thinks. Now, Godolphin runs Secret State, who's been gelded, which could be bad news for him in some ways, but shows that they <laughs> obviously think this horse is going to like, uh, well, he's going to continue racing, put it that way. Uh, he was last seen when six of seven at Ascot. Now, he had three winners in a row last year, and then his form tailed off, but... He could have had a hard season. I think he's very, very poor value as a favourite. I'm going to I'll look beyond him. We then come to the Springer in the market, Horse, who opened up at 15 to 2, uh, is now 100 to 30, and that price is tight. I think he could even challenge Secret State for favourite. That is Phantom Flight. Now, those of you who attended or watched the Ebor meeting at York last year, uh, you could not fail to be impressed when this horse absolutely sauntered home in a good field. He then went to air. Now, the trainer, James Horton, feels that he was not right that day, and you can put a line through him. If he's right, 
then Phantom Flight is going to run a huge race today. However, I'm a bit concerned about his lack of all weather for me. He's only raced on it once and he was beaten, yeah. although he is he is a, a much more accomplished horse now. Um, I think he's very tight at the price. If you were on at the bigger price, I think you've got a crack in each way bet there. I can't be backing him at that when he's... You know, it's all right a trainer saying, oh, I'll put a line through it. The fact is he flopped last time. That is in the yeah. form book. So I'll look elsewhere. Fox's tail, interesting at nine to two there. Ocean Murphy, oh, uh, uh, back in business for his boss, Andrew Baldin, who does, who did very, very well at the beginning of last year. Had a real glut of winners at the start of the season. He's a stable I'm keeping my eye on. Be interesting to see this as a sort of barometer for his yard. Um, Horses won three times, won at this trip. Last time out, he was third behind Lord North, who, of course, has gone in uh, in the Middle East there yet again. Uh, and that was in the uh, Winter Derby at Lingfield. He brings in a real good level of form. Uh, 92. Yeah, I think there's a bit of juice in that price. Then we have Tyrrhenian C for Roger Varian. Now, this horse was second to Lord North, so was in front of a fox's tail yet fox's tail is a short price those of you pure form book fans will think well if he's 11 to 2 as opposed to 9 to 2 if you're following that form line you should be with tyrinian c we've got rogue millennium as a horse i really like but i do feel he's out of his depth here and that and that 33 to 1 he can uh he can well he can stay there along with savvy victory he's another richard king's got rides for sean woods he's a horse i like but they're really flying a bit high here. And that leaves me with my selection. Number one, top of the shop, Bellocchio. He's run here uh, three times. He's won three times. He's got a little bit to find on the form book. And he's got to give a penalty of three pounds to the rest here. But he really is an outstanding horse. Trained by David Manuzier, uh, ridden by Daniel Musco. I'm sure he'll have him primed here. His horse can go well fresh. He is rock solid. And I'm just looking here now. It was seven to one. It's now six to one. Or you can get, you can get, you could get seven to one with bet three six five. That's gone. And then we're going to fifty odd three places. I'm going to make a prediction. The first day of the flat season, you will not get met many better each way plays than three places seven to one Bellocchio today. I cannot see him out of the three. You can get six to one or fifty odd three places with bet three six five. Hills go five to one. That's much more realistic for me. I don't think that six to one will hold. Or you could go thirteen to two. William Hill caught the odds two. I can see Phantom Flight winning this. It wouldn't surprise me. But I just think Bellocchio is so rock solid with seven runners. I cannot see more than two beating him. I really, really can't. And I could see him. Uh, he's tough in a finish. I could see him winning this if Phantom Flight cannot continue that form from york on to the all weather and i just said to judge before we recorded i think that this is a very very strong heat and in the next month to six weeks i think we'll see at least four winners out of this race i really really do so it's a notebook uh race for me i like fox's tail i like tyranny and see i can see that angle i think secret state is an interesting horse but i think he's very very short i think he's short because he's a godolphin and William Buick, I don't think he merits being a nine to four shot. I think he'll drift. He might meet Phantom Flight in the middle at around the five to two mark. But for me, Judge, it's Bellocchio, and I'm going three places. I'm borrowing your theory. <laughs> I got caught out last time. They won't yeah. get me twice. The seven to one's gone. Six to one bet three six five is still way too big. I can see him going off yeah. nine to two here. We know that Manuzi uh, Yard back them when they're. They think they're ready to do the business. I think yeah. he'll be this, the late springer in this market. What about you? Yeah, it's definitely very live. I think I'll cover your rules first. I think you, you could, there's definitely worse picks. And obviously, he's got migration in the Lincoln. And um, last year, he, he came to that spring uh, the spring cup race at um, uh, to Newbury in fresh. So he's, he's well capable of getting his horses ready fresh. Um, like you say, he's got a really good record at Kempton. I certainly wouldn't want to put you off that. And he's, he's a solid play, to be fair. Um, I mean, anti-post, I actually backed to Phantom Flight, at, at obviously a decent price. There's no way in the world I could tip, could tip him up at less than half the price that I got. And um, and to be fair, I'm on each way. And I, the, the interesting angle, the reason why I played on him is the fact that, Madon you know, the, the stable jockey's on here for, you know, PJ McDonald rides a lot of the Horton horses. And the fact mm -hmm. he's got horses in the Lincoln and uh, down at Donny. 
um, won in the Camage Trophy as well. I thought that was quite interesting that he, he came to ride this horse. Um, so that was the, another sort of a positive for his chances. Um, I, I did think Secret State was short earlier on at six to four. It's getting to the stage now where he's actually probably about the right price, but I still don't really want to back him. But he is around about the right price because of the class angle. Um, just um, the fact, you know, you've got respect for Dolphin, but he's not for me um, in terms of having a bet. Um, I do like a, do like the angle, the, the Lord North angle, which you, you went in a bit more detail that, you know, that I was going to go through. The, they were obviously second and third, the Fox's Tail, Tyrone and C line. Um, I'm not a massive fan of Fox's Tails as a horse, unfortunately. He loves to come second. He, he's not got the best head carriage in the world. And um, mm. bearing, in, bearing in mind the last time they met each other, um, Tyrone and C was nine to two and Fox's Tail was 11 to one. Um, yeah, Tyranny and C beat Fox's Tail, and then today you can get a bigger price on, on Tyranny and C. I think Tyranny and C is the play each way with the extra place. I am a little concerned about the trip. There's no doubt he, he has appeared best at a mile, but I think this could. I mean, they're, they're obviously, you've got horses coming back in trip, and they should make it a decent test of stamina for the, um, oh, yeah, the yeah. 10 furlongs. But it's, it seems to be strange around these all weather tracks. It's hard to make them a test of stamina quite often, isn't it? It often ends up mm. being a sprint, and I. I can see this horse perhaps getting this race actually run to suit, even though there looks like there should be some pace involved. So for me, it's going to be each way tyranny and C. Um, all right, so I look at the other big outsiders. You've got to think Savvy Victory is probably going to be lined up for a sort of a good handicap come the end of the season. He might be um, he might be the type that um, can run into some of these good handicaps later on. And um, Rogue Millennium, she ran, I think she won the Lingfield Oaks Trail last year. Um, mm. I do think she's um, this very much. I should be surprised if it's later on down the road for her backing Bill against Phillies. Um, so I think you're right. I think there'll be certainly two or three winners come out of this race. I might be surprised. You might be um, a little bit, little bit uh, more sort of like generous than I am. But I do think it's a nice race, and um, I think the, our two plays here are the safest plays in the race. So for me, it's going to be Tyranny and C. Tyranny and C for the judge, at eleven to two. Uh, Bet365, Paddy Power, Hills and Betfred amongst others. And I'm with Bellocchio, top of the shop number one. You can still get that six to one. Uh, Betfred goes six to one as well. They're offering three places. If you want to play the horse at uh, quarter of the odds two, you can get... Actually, you can't now because that 13 to two has gone while we've been recording. So uh, They must be listening. <laughs> they must be listening live even though it's not live. Uh, so yeah, there we go. It's going to be uh, a brilliant day, Donny. We've got a really cracking card at Kempton oh, as brilliant. well, and uh, we're off and running, Judge. So good luck with the flat brilliant. season, mate. Yeah, and we'll be back on Monday on the Judge's Channel. We will, mate. Yeah, yeah, we've had a bit of a sabbatical the last couple, of, just catching up, on with everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're back. Yeah, we're back. Uh, we're back so with a vengeance. Good luck today. Get yourselves in HSC Club. Uh, two winners in a round, of course. Well done, everybody who played Newcastle Card Marker last night. Have a good day, Judge. If mine doesn't win, I hope yours does, but a lot less than I hope mine does. So, great stuff. Uh, and and be, of course, be lucky in your case. Be <laughs> lucky. Have a great day, everybody. Holy horses. horses.